Lesson 7 The Magic Fish Bone by Charles Dickens Page 66 Let's start Charles John Huffam Dickens was born in 1812 and died in 1870 was a British writer whose notable works are Oliver Twist, A Christmas Carol, A Tale of Two Cities, David Copperfield, etc. During his lifetime and even in present times, his works have always enjoyed great popularity and he is generally regarded as the greatest novelist of the Victorian period. Full stop. The present text is an adaptation from his popular short story, The Magic Fish Bone. Full stop. Let's share. 1. Study the given words. Fly, walk, shirt, scales, swim, wand. Now put the words in the column where they belong. Full stop. Each column must have two words. Ekhane tinte column e bhag kora achi. Ek tite man, dithiyo tite fish, ebang tritiyo tite fairy. Opurer shabdo guli ke ek tinte modde bashate hobe. Page sixty seven. Two. Look at the pictures below and write their names against each of them. নিচে কতগুলি ছবি দেওয়া আছে এগুলি দেখে তাদের নাম তোমাদের লিখতে হবে এটি তোমরা রিডারের সাহায্যে পড়ে নিও নাও সার্কেল দা ফার্স্ট লেটার অফ ইচ ওয়ার্ড টু মেক আ নিউ ওয়ার্ড ফুল স্টপ রাইট দা নিউ ওয়ার্ড ইন দা বক্স গিভেন অ্যালং সাইড ফুল স্টপ পেজ 68 লেটস রিড there was once a king and he had a queen. Full stop. They had several children. Full stop. Alicia was the eldest who looked after the other children. Full stop. The king was in his private profession under the government. Full stop. The queen's father had been a medical man out of town. Full stop. One day, the king was going to the office when he stopped at the fishmonger's shop. Full stop. He needed to buy a pound and a half of salmon which the queen had requested him to send home. Full stop. He had not proceeded far after finishing his shopping. When the fishmonger's errand boy came running after him, full stop, he said, Sir, you did not notice the old lady in our shop, full stop. What old lady? Enquired the king, full stop. I saw none, full stop. Now the king had not seen any old lady because she had been invisible to him. Though visible to the fishmonger's boy. Full stop. What nest? Fishmonger. A fish seller. Pound. A unit for measuring weight. Proceeded. Moved forward. Errand boy. A boy who walks under a shopkeeper. It was page 68. Page 69. Let's do. Activity 1. Tick the correct alternative. A. Alicia look after. Number 2. The fishmonger. Number 3. Her brothers and sisters. Bhul. A. Alicia look after. Number 1. The fishmonger. Number 2. Her brothers and sisters. And number three, the old lady. B. The queen's father had been a 
Number one, medical man. Number two, postman. Number three, tailor. C. The king wanted to buy salmon weighing number one a pound, number two a pound and half, and number three two pounds. D. The old lady had been visible to number one the queen's father, number two the king, and number three the fishmonger's boy. Activity two. Rearrange the following sentences in the correct order and put the numbers in the given boxes. Number 1. The old lady had been invisible to the king. Number 2. He bought salmon. 3. The earned boy came running after him. Number 4. The king stopped at the fishmonger's shop. Number 5. The errand boy asked if the king had seen the old lady. Number 6. He left the shop. Full stop. Answer the following question. Within inverted comma, the king was in his private profession under the government. Inverted comma close. Is this king similar to the stories of other kings? That you have read so far? Page 70. Let's continue. Just then, the lady came trotting up. She was dressed in short silk of the richest quality. Full stop. King Watkins, the first, I believe. Watkins, within inverted commas, replied the king. Is my name. Within inverted commas. Papa of the beautiful princess Alicia. Inverted comma close. The old lady asked. Yes. King Watkins replied. Full stop. You are going to the office. Said the old lady. Instantly flashed upon the king. That she must be a fairy. Or how could she know that. You are right. Said the old lady, answering his thoughts. I'm the good fairy, Grand Marina. Full stop. Listen. When you return home to dinner, invite the princess Alicia to have some of the salmon you bought just now. Full stop. When the beautiful princess finishes eating, you will find she will leave a fish bone on her plate. Full stop. Tell her to dry it and to rub it and to polish it till it shines like mother of pearl. Full stop. Ask her to take care of it as a present from me. Full stop. Is that all? Ask the king. Full stop. Tell the princess Alicia with my love that the fish bone is a magic present which can be used only once. It will bring her only once what she wishes for. Provided she wishes for it all at the right time. Full stop. That is the message. Take care of it. Full stop. Page 71. With those words... Grand Marina vanished. Full stop. The king went on and on till he came to his office. Full stop. There he wrote and wrote and wrote. Comma. Till it was time to go home again. Full stop. Then he invited the princess Alicia as the fairy had directed him to take the salmon. Full stop. And when she had enjoyed it very much, he saw the fish bone on her plate and delivered the fairy's message. Full stop. Princess Alicia took care to dry the bone and to rub it and to polish it till it shone like mother of pearl. Full stop. What next? Trotting. 
walking speedily instantly immediately mother of pearl inner layer of a shell let's do activity 4 complete the following sentences with information from the text a the old lady was dressed in dash b king watkins was the father of dash c the fish bone was dash d princess alicia took care to dash page 72 answer the following questions in complete sentences a why did the king think that the old lady was a fairy b what was the message given by grand marina c when did grand marina vanish d what did the king do in his office let's continue days went by full stop one morning the king came into alicia's room full stop he was shying heavily and seemed low spirited full stop he sat down miserably leaning his head upon his hand and his elbow upon the kitchen table full stop alicia asked what is the matter papa i am extremely poor my child the king replied have you no money at all papa alicia enquired none my child is there no way left of getting any papa no way said the king full stop i have tried very hard and i have tried all ways full stop when she heard those last words comma the princess alicia began to put her hand into the pocket where she kept the magic fish bone full stop papa said she when we have tried very hard and tried all ways we must have done our very best page 73 no doubt alicia when we have done our very best papa and that is not enough then i think the right time must have come for asking help of others full stop this was indeed the very secret connected with the magic fish bone full stop so she took out from her pocket the magic fish bone that had been dried and rubbed and polished till it shone like mother of pearl full stop she gave it a little kiss and wished it was salary bowl wished it was salary day full stop and immediately the king's salary came rattling down the chimney and bounced into the middle of the floor full stop immediately afterwards the good fairy grand marina came riding in in a carriage drawn by four peacocks dressed in silver and gold full stop alicia my dear said the charming old fairy how do you do the princess alicia embarrassed her full stop grand marina turned to the king then full stop i suppose you know the reason now why alicia did not use the fish bone sooner the king made her a shy bow it only remains said grand marina in conclusion to make an end to the fish bone full stop so she took it from the hand of the princess alicia and it was instantly grabbed by the little snapping pug dog bull pug dog next door it was page 73 page 74 what nest miserably means very unhappily rattling making a series of short loud sounds by hitting against something hard grabbed means took hold of something suddenly and roughly snapping having a tendency to bite 
Let's do. Activity 6. Write T for true statements and F for false statements in the given boxes. Full stop. Give supporting statements for each of your answers. A. One morning, Alicia found the king to be very happy. B. Alicia had kept the magic fish born in the drawer of her room. Full stop. C. The king's problem was solved by the magic fish bone. Full stop. D. In the end, Alicia handed over the fish bone to the old fairy. Full stop. Activity 7. Answer the following questions in complete sentences. A. Why was the king feeling miserable? B. What was to Alicia the right moment for asking help from others? C. How did the king get his salary? D. Why did Grand Marina wish to make an end of the fish bone? Page 75. Let's learn. Read the following sentences. 1. They had several children. Next, he had not proceeded far after finishing his shopping. Full stop. In both these sentences, ideas and facts are expressed in the form of statements. Let's do. Activity 8a. Use the words to make sentences in the form of a statement. Number 1. East. The. In. Rises. Sun. The. Number 2. Meet. Comma. The. Comma. Dog. Comma. Eats. Bhul. Number 1. East. Comma. The. Comma. In. Comma. Rises. Comma. Sun. Comma. The. Number 2. Meet. Comma. The. Comma. Dog. Comma. Eats. The above sentences make statements or assertions. These kind of sentences are called assertive sentences. Let's learn. Read the following sentences. How do you do? And have you no money at all, Papa? In both these sentences, ideas and facts are being expressed in the form of questions. Let's do. Activity 8b. Use the words to make sentences in the form of a question. Number 1. Are, comma, where, comma, going, comma, you. Number 2. This, comma, not, comma, book, comma, is, comma, your. The above sentences ask questions. These kinds of sentences are called interrogative statements. Page 76. Activity 8C. Identify which of the following sentences are assertive and which are interrogative. Number 1. He spent many years of his life in a village. Full stop. Number 2. Where do you live? Number 3. Nobody was absent today. Full stop. Number 4. Did you not hear the bell? Activity 9A. Re replace the underlined words with their antonyms. Number 1. I helped a poor girl yesterday. Underline word is poor. Number 2. He came sooner than expected. Underline word sooner. Number 3. I saw a little plant by the roadside. Full stop. Underline word little. Number 4. She read the conclusion of the novel. Underline word conclusion. Activity 9b. Make meaningful sentences of your own with the following words. Flashed, then present, message, directed. Let's talk. Why do you think the fairy was at first invisible to the king 
and later became visible. Discuss in groups. Full stop. Page 77. Let's do. Activity 10A. Read the following passage and fill in the chart with information from the passage. Salmon is a fish that lives alone along the coast. Full stop. Salmon is born in fresh water and migrates to the ocean. Full stop. A salmon returns to fresh water to lay eggs. Full stop. After coming out from the egg, a baby salmon stays for 6 months to 3 years in fresh water. Full stop. A salmon can make long journeys, sometimes moving hundreds of miles upstream against strong current. Full stop. Ekane duti column at Prushno Nujay Uttar Dita Hawe. Number one, name of the fish. Number two, place where it is found. Number three, it migrates to blank. Number four, where it lays eggs. Number five, time spent in fresh water. Number six, distance traveled by a salmon. Activity 10b. Imagine you met a fairy in your dreams. Full stop. Write in about 60 words what gift you would have asked from her and why. Full stop. Let's walk together. Number 1. Draw a picture of a fairy and color it. Full stop. Number 2. Write 4 sentences describing the fairy and the work that she does full stop 